Yeah. The rewards of self-belief have turned me into an addict. Yeah. Girls cheating, being hoes has turned me into a savage. What is going on, guys? Agapoke here with another video for you today. And today, today we're actually going to be playing Dream Daddy, which is like a dating sim, a, a dad dating simulator. That's pretty much what it is. But uh, yeah, I thought it'd be interesting to play this game. I've been actually uh, wanting to play this game since I finished Half Past Fate, and uh, I want to kind of jump into another one of those like little romance type of games. So. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into Dream Daddy, uh, and yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. Let's get right into the video. Yo, this really fucking bops so. <laughs> though. I did not expect this to bop. Yo, listen to this song, yo. Hey. 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 Alright. Alright. Let's go. Alright, let's start a new game. God damn, sleeping a lot. Dad? Oh, Amanda? Huh? Dad, wake up! Uh, fuck. <laughs> Should I wake up? Should I pretend to be dead five more minutes? Yo, if I'm a dad, I'm telling them five more minutes, bro. <laughs> or, hmm. Never mind, it's my kid, I'll wake up. Oh. I finally open my eyes and I sit up. I'm lying in the middle of the li uh, living room. Spooning a moving box. I yawn and stretch. God damn. Morning, Manda Panda. Dad. Yikes, Dad Breath. Go brush your teeth. <laughs> Always use a coat and wax after a walk. That dad. Oh, okay. Oh, yo, okay. I. Here's the thing. I've never watched anybody play Dream Daddy. I think Markiplier played it. I'm not sure. But, uh... I'm really interested, and I never knew we could actually customize, so... What kind of bot do I have? I have I have this type of bot, honestly. Nah, no, this? This? No. Oh, hell no. That's way too hairy. I'll go with this one, yeah. I'll just go with this one. For sure. A lot of customization so far. I like it. Let's go Name ahead. That Name that dad. Alright, uh... Y'all don't know my name. I think I'm just gonna put first name I go, and then last name Poker. <laughs> hey, that dad. There we go. Drinking too much water can cause water intoxication. Wow, Dad. Tip number twenty-seven. Did you fall asleep packing? I got most of it done, I think. Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Wait, straggler. What's in it? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos and little photo albums. Whoa, I haven't seen these in years. I pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile and we begin looking through it. Ah, look at the little kid. Ah, that's nice. That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. <laughs> the only, <laughs> the only way your father and I, the only way your mother and I. Ooh, okay. Oh, I think I understand what's gonna go. What's going on? I'm bisexual, so I don't. I, I can't choose, <laughs> honestly. Uh, uh, fuck. You know what? It's Dream Daddy, so I'm gonna go with your father and I. The only way your father and I could get you to stop crying was to put sunglasses on you. <laughs> but whenever we tried to take them off, you started crying again. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. <laughs> nice, Halloween. When you were maybe four? Oh my god, that dragon costume. You couldn't decide between a princess or a dragon, so you went with both. <laughs> so you went with both. Princess dragon. Mm. Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? <laughs> you saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization <laughs> of your greatest fear, I think. <laughs> mm. Right, yep. Definitely repress that memory. And this was you in your horse face. <laughs> oh man, look at all the little ponies and horses. Oh man. Oh. Dad. I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. Aww. I don't think that was his. Amanda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms. Nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. Go ahead and try me. I've seen the pictures in your ska. <laughs> of you in your ska, man. 
Ouch, kid. Damn. The Scommunist Manifesto had a chance back in the day. <laughs> what the fuck? I look off into the distance and reminisce about that rad horse, uh, horn section. Damn. Hey, it's Emma P. Ugh. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing up, <laughs> mixing those two up. <laughs> and Emma R has been my best friend since I was seven. Give it like a little of <laughs> a little bit of effort. <laughs> oh right, Emma P was the one who tried to steal people's pets, fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station, pooped her pants during a sleepover, fired a flame lighter fluid tennis balls, tennis racket, right? Yeah. Dad, that was you. Oh right, I was a wild child. I was six when you did it. Okay, Amanda. I wasn't aiming for the police station. It just happened that there was a police station in the vicinity of where I wanted to hit the flaming tennis ball. Ugh. Yeah, I remember you explaining that to the police. They didn't believe me either. Hmm. And anyway, I gotta show this to Emma R later. She'll get a kick out of it. The first photography award you ever won. Nice. Yeah, and it got us a $20 gift card to McFridays. Yes. And then you got food poisoning from the cheesy <laughs> tostada? Tostada? Is that how you spell tostada? I always thought it was with an S. The cheesy tostada blast. I think you mean food poisoning, you know, with a Z. <laughs> poisoning, yeah. Ugh. Dad. Still can't drive past McFridays without gagging. Ah. Still proud of you, though. Amanda reaches deep down into the box and pulls out one last photo mm. neither of us are a word we stare at the photo for a long moment <sighs> I finally decide to break the silence I'll say this was the day you were born it's kind of a funny story we got into a car accident right in there in the hospital parking lot it wasn't anything big just a fender bender but of course I was freaking out and the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out I didn't know what to do. But your father, oh man. He holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes, the calmest I've ever seen him. He says, It's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Aww. He was right, you know. I stared at the picture for longer. Maybe too long. I miss him. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. Come on, Pops. We gotta finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. You're right. Oh. Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old photos. So many memories here. Hard to believe your father and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Uh -huh. Hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? God damn it. Dude, why the fuck? <laughs> you always had very strong arms. Huh. Hey, remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? Amanda, what the fuck? You were a very imaginative child. Yes. Hey, remember when I broke the back window? <laughs> I, we get it, Amanda. You break stuff. Hmm. There'll be plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place. Please no. Memories to make and stuff to break. You ready? We stay in silence for a moment. I watch my daughter grow up in this house. It will forever hold a place in my heart. But it stings a little bit to leave behind. I'm ready. The moving van begins to pull away and I get the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in the rear view mirror. So. So what? Aww. So sell me on our cool new pad. I clear my throat and do my best cheesy announcer voice. <clears throat> Nestled in beautiful scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features a two-car garage. That's right, you heard me. A garage big enough for not one, but two whole cars. As well as a room for all my very important dad tools. And my motorcycle. My sick hog. The old steel pony. Dad's little motor philosophy. Okay, we get it. Dad, <laughs> the two-wheel transportation station. <laughs> Dad, <laughs> I have never ridden a motorcycle in my life, and to be honest, I'm afraid of them. 
<laughs> anyway, it's also smaller than our last house. Cozier, one might argue. Good spin. Yes. I think it's great. Won't we be closer to a lot of cool stuff we can walk to? So I don't have to waste gas? I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know... Amanda, you know you're going to have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? Huh? Not going to happen, Pops. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. Uh. I don't know how to do that either. Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighborhood still seems pretty quiet. Mm -hmm. So you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn? You're the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. Huh? I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, you're a real... Huh? Don't you dare. Senior. Hmm. Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen. Hmm. I'm just going to ignore that. Hmm. But I won't forget it. So, so what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well, first we need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. Pops, cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're going to take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. We'll get some work done and then check the area out. We pull up to the house. We pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown and the for sale sign is still in the yard. Where is it? I can't see it. Hiya! And with a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Nice form, Sweepy. I got a problem with authority. I'm so proud. <laughs> Man, all that karate chopping tuckered me out. I could really go for a sandwich. An ice cream sandwich. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. We need to unpack first. As much as I would also like to enjoy delicious and healthy ice cream sando right about now, we got work to do, kiddo. And we need to make it snappy because there are five sealed crates of DVD box sets blocking off the bathroom and I gotta pee real bad. Well, don't let the entire cast of all 13 seasons of Shark Tank but with actual sharks stand in your way. Let's get to it. I get to work unpacking the various boxes around the living room. A couple hours pass and I get some good work done. The washer slash dryer unit is both washing and drying and we can actually walk around the living room without tripping over boxes. I like the controller right there and the headphones. First visitor already? I walk over to the door and open it. Hello? Oh. A handsome clean cut man stands at my door brandishing a plate of cookies. Ooh. Hello? Yes. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. Oh, yes. Hi. Amigo. That's what my name is. Hmm. I saw the moving van and I thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter, uh, my daughter Christy wanted me to let you know that she baked them herself. Joseph leans in and whispers, but between you and me, she just sprinkled the chocolate chips. <laughs> <laughs> Kids, right? Oh. Wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands here to play with cookies with a smile. Well, thanks for the cookies. Amanda disappears with the cookies. <laughs> Amanda, come. And she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name's Amanda. She's a charmer. Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. Children in general are just... Tough. <laughs> I, I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try to raise more than two. I have four kids. Well, goddamn! What have you done? Oh, uh, I meant. Oh. Don't worry, you didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I met, and my <laughs> and my social life is already in a tailspin. <laughs> I wonder if it's too late to move again. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is the missus around? Mister, actually, and uh, no, not anymore. He died. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I'm sorry for your loss. No, no, it's all right. Well, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, <laughs> acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Can you close the door real quick? 
I look at Joseph quizzically but comply. After a second, I hear a knock at the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. <laughs> hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue <laughs> for the cul-de-sac, and I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? <laughs> oh. That sounds great. My daughter Amanda would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. We shake hands to seal the deal. <laughs> Oh man! Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. sharp on ta on Saturday. Sure thing, neighbor. Joseph starts walking away, but stops to think for a second and turns around. Yes. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm your I'm the youth minister at the church down the street. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. Yeah. You look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. <laughs> and with that, Joseph's gone. He seemed nice. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face and cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recover I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. See, you're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? Aww. They're gone. I'm sorry. Yeah. If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyway? Huh. <laughs> yeah. I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? Uh, yeah, we'll give them the plate later. I could let's get some fresh air. Let's hit the park down the road. I saw a ton of dogs there when we drove past. Okay, will you help me steal the dog? Uh, no, for the last time, I can't fit the dog into the pockets of my cargo shorts. It's physically impossible. Yeah. You're breaking my heart, pops. You can't beat the whammy bar. Amanda and I begin to stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street, the flowers are in bloom, and the faint smell of nearby barbecue drifts through the air. This place is nice. Hmm. Too nice. I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby stroller over uh see that baby in that stroller over there? Government operative. Hmm. We're on to you, baby. We walk for a while and eventually end up at a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground and dogs of all shapes and sizes run through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it when... Heads up! Ow! A frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. God damn, that sounds like my childhood. Woof. A corgi with a neat plaid handkerchief tied around his neck bounds up to me, wagging its tail. I like your necktie. <laughs> he runs around in a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. Can I help you? Impart upon me your wisdom, tiny dog. Pet the dog, pet the dog. But where do I pet the dog? Give him those head rubs. We need some chin scratches here. Dare we do try the butt pets? Nah. With a corgi, you gotta give him red head rubs. He seems to love a good head rub. All smiles here. You definitely could have caught that. A guy in Hawaiian shirt jogs over to us and takes a frisbee button from me. You know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not your face. It's a new technique. It's like disc golf, but the goal is my face. Looks like you're winning. Ha! Huh, I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. I'm Ego, and this is my daughter Amanda. I look over at Amanda only to find her sitting on the ground rubbing the dog's tummy. Ah. Hi. Huh. Your dog's cool. Ah, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. It's good to see another father and daughter out here on a sunny, on such a sunny day. Where's yours? Brian gestures over to the grassy knoll where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over to us. Ah. This is Daisy. Aw, nice. She's reading the brothers... Karamazov? Her teacher tells me that she has the reading comprehension skills of a high schooler. How old is she? <clears throat> Ten. She's a precocious little youngster. Whoa. My natural dad instincts kick in. I must brag about my child's accomplishments. <laughs> nice Pokemon music. Oh no, it's happening. <laughs> Let's go. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Alright. Alright, so I fixed it right, right in time for this. I kind of figured out how to do it. Alright. Brian. Brian, go on, Daisy, tell them all about yourself. <laughs> Daisy, um, I... That's my girl. 
Amanda, get in there. Amanda, okay, okay. Uh, he kills HP. <laughs> Both 80. Uh, oh, yeah, let's go. Uh, brag. Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. Wow, congratulations. He lost 10 HP. <sighs> Daisy actually just won the statewide poetry contest. He lost 15. Oh, no. Uh... You can't switch dollars, Amanda is your only daughter. Oh man, uh, brag. Last week, unprompted, Amanda helped an old man, uh, old woman <laughs> with her grocery bags. That's extra powerful. He loses 10 HP, or 20 HP. Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. She's the president too, of course. Amanda, dang, my high school doesn't even have a chess club or a computer lab. You lose 10 HP. Oh no, brag again. Uh, Amanda's in all honors classes this semester. Oh no. Oh, really? I'm actually talking uh, to Daisy's teachers about having her skip a grade. <sighs> Even Amanda kind of <laughs> bristles at that one. You lose 20 HP. No! Oh no. A few months back, Amanda started volunteering at the homeless shelter in our old neighborhood. He lost 10 HP. You don't say. She should talk to Daisy. She actually helped organize a food bank here in Maple Bay. Yeah, Amanda, I'm sure we could find something for you to do. It's extra powerful. You lose 20 HP. No, I'm at 15. He's at 30. Item. Uh, Band-Aid, Child Art, Spelling V Photo. <sighs> Fumbling through your phone's browser, you managed to pull up, <laughs> pull up Amanda winning her 10th grade Spelling Bee. Wow, congratulations, Amanda. Daisy is getting prepped for her annual spelling bee right now. Hopefully, this will be her third win in a row. Yikes, she lose 5 HP. Daisy sold enough candy bars this year to get to the top prize, a canoe. We're taking it out next weekend. How is that even possible? Amanda could barely get one of those uh, sticky hand, hand things. It's extra powerful. You lose 20 HP. No, I'm done. Dang, he's really got us beat. Boy, it's been such a treat getting to meet you too. <laughs> uh, did he have to add insult to injury with being such a gracious winner? Damn. So I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood. <laughs> we just moved in. Do you live around here? Yeah, we live in that cul-de-sac down next to the uh, coffee shop. What a coincidence. We live, uh, that's where we live too. Small world, yeah? Daisy and I are in that little ranch style house on the corner. I know the house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscape. Does this guy have to outdo me at everything? What a lovely place. Well, I don't want to take any more, uh, take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. You'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye. Brian and Daisy walk further into the park with Maxwell happily trotting along in tow. <sighs> Do you get the feeling that he was trying to warm up us? Trying and succeeding. I can't believe... That kid's only 10. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe you had a bit of a thing for horses. Shame that they didn't pan out. Could have majored in comparative horse studies. It's not too late to minor in comparative ho in horse creative writing. Too close to the truth, Dad. Let us never again speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington the Brave, an epic in seven parts by Amanda Poker. We laugh off the horse epic and walk around the park a bit more. Enjoying the day. Go take a nap. All the sunlight is making me real tired. I don't think I got enough sleep last night. You slept for 14 hours. Exactly. That is never enough sleep. Practice makes perfect. As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. Ego, bro. Hey. Turn around. I'm greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Yo, what the hell? Craig? <laughs> Why is his name Greg? <laughs> Bro. 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 Hmm. Holy. Wow. I haven't seen Craig in forever. Uh -huh. It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow. You look great. <laughs> yeah, I cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his act. Are you kidding me? He's ripped. Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. <laughs> Amanda, dude. You probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Hello, and hello, cute baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. The last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. 
He picks up her tiny wrist and waves it around. River gurkers happily. <laughs> Are you babysitting? Oh. Nah, dude, River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers, and the next we're both fathers. Where you been, man? Hmm. I was working out in California and just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding. Amanda and I just moved to this side of town. How's uh, Smashley doing? Smashley? Oh. I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. She's actually, go <laughs> she actually still goes by Smashly, and uh, we got divorced last year. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. It's old news. We're taking turn. Uh, we take turns taking care of River and twins. It's all, uh, copac copacetic. Copacetic. I'm gonna say copacetic. It's all copacetic. Twins? You have three kids? Oh. Ain't life something, bro? Right? <laughs> Keg Stan Craig is a father of three. Mm. Keg Stan Craig? Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that was my old college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of keg stands. Mm. It's that thing where you do a handstand on the keg and then drink from the keg. Ah. Right. He was very good at it. Mm. <laughs> Bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog and I really got to keep up my heart rate. Brought River along for, you know, resistance training. You're, you, d jog <laughs> you jog daily? I jog yearly. <laughs> On January 1st, when I promise myself I'm going to jog daily for the rest of the year, but I give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. Oh. Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. <laughs> I don't know. Nice. Come on, it'd be fun. We could grab breakfast afterwards, catch up. We could do a bro brunch like the good old days. All right, sure. Sounds great. Mm -hmm. Great. Let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Uh, Craig gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in, and jogs off. I can't believe Greg is ripped and has kids. I'm reeling. <laughs> Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including his, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. Same, Craig. Same. Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce and he drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy. And then I asked him what the hell he was doing. And he said, and I quote, it's basically a smoothie, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking pardon? <laughs> yeah. I mean, technically, he's not wrong. <laughs> he jogs. He was jogging. He's like a totally different person. Anyway, we better get home. I have plenty of time to reflect on how old how old I feel later. Oh man. Amanda and I flop down onto the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Huh. See what we're gonna be putting myself right back into these boxes in a few months. No, don't say that. Hmm. Hot dad, it's gonna be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know. It's just you're my little girl. It's gonna be weird not having you around. I'll come visit and I'll text you every day. And I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. You promise? Hmm. Of course. Are you gonna be okay by your? Uh, are you gonna be okay by your lonesome? Oh come on! I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. Hey. A dog? Hey. Forget art <laughs> art school. I'll stay for the dog. Is that what? Is that what it's gonna take? Medium sized dog, handkerchief around neck. I get to name it, and that's what it'll cost for me to give up on my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. <laughs> Amanda laughs. Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slides through the mail slot. Speaking of college, Amanda darts over to the envelopes and shuffles through them. She pulls one out and throws the rest of the back on the floor. Yes. This is from McGowan College of Art and Design. Open it. Mm. But I'm scared. It's just an envelope. Mm. Yeah, it's just like my entire future. Not a big deal. Oh. She takes a deep breath and rips the leather open with her teeth. God damn, bro. I know I got big teeth too, but god damn. We have a leather opener, but okay. Hmm. <laughs> I hold my breath while Amanda's eyes darts back and forth scanning the leather. What does it say? Uh, the admissions committee has reviewed your application, blah, blah, blah. Um, we... Her face drops. Regret to inform you that we are unable to offer you admission to McGowan... College of Art and Design. Uh. Amanda throws a letter 
on the coffee table. Oh, sweetie. Aww. It's okay. I kind of saw it coming. I knew, I knew I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. Their admissions officer told me they just want to see portraits or whatever. I pulled Amanda in for a big hug. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. Some other school is going to want to snatch you up for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. It's fine. Are you actually fine or are you just saying that? Mm. I'm fine. Really? No, you're just saying that. Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. Oh, and before I forget, MR and MP are sleeping over tonight. Ugh. So... You need me to... And you mean out of the way because I'm painfully uncool? I would choose a more delicate phrasing, but yes. Well, I'll have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight. So you'll have the new place to yourself. Ah. Yeah, what are your plans? Quick, think of plans. I, uh, I'm going clubbing. I'm going to attend a uni meeting. I'm secretly... <laughs> Amanda, the town needs me. I need to perform my more in my own <laughs> duties. <laughs> I must don my top hat and wear my monocle so that I must preside over my mayor stuff. Yeah. I think you're thinking of the guy from Monopoly. He was a mayor, right? Eh? He was not. Right. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to go out and watch the game. Nice. Mm. Which game? You know, the game. The one that's on tonight. Aww. The game on TV. At somewhere other than here. Yeah. Okay, cool. While you do that, I'm gonna do drugs and commit some light arson with the Emma's. For sure, dude. That's what teenagers do. I'm concerned you're hanging with the wrong crowd. Amanda shrugs. I would have expected you guys to put up a white collar crime by this point. You need money laundering at the least. Like, come on, dude. Fucking raise your stranders, bro. I'm a street rat, pops. You're kidding about doing drugs and crime, right? Mm. Yes, Dad. Just making sure. Yeah. I give her a pat on the head. Have fun with your sports. Are you being sarcastic? Uh. No, making fun of sports is played out. Alright then. I do some light cleaning around the house and decide to clear out right before Amanda's friends arrive. Before I leave, Amanda stops me. Uh. Hey, don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. Alright, oh, Mr. Vega. Yep, that's all I remembered. I'll be there. For sure. Awesome. Alright guys, so the episode's getting really long for now, but I'm enjoying the game so far. It's pretty awesome. I'm I'm loving it. I'm loving the vibe it gives off. You know, it's a lot of a lot of dialogue, but you know I'll make sure to take some water breaks in between. <laughs> and yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and uh make sure to let me know what you think of the game so far. And uh if there's anything that you want me to do in the game, anything like uh specific that I should maybe know about uh, but yeah, until next time guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and remember to hit that link in the description below to go follow me on Twitch, I stream every now and then, I stream mainly Splatoon and other things as well, thinking about streaming maybe da uh, Dream Daddy, you know, you never know, any game I got, I'll probably stream it, but yeah, until next time guys, I'll see you later.